I'm gonna go over the trades I went through last week. Um, last week was a hectic week. It was super choppy. I lost about 4% of my account with my 10K and my 5K funded account. My 10K on phase two, and then my um, a 5K funded account lost about 4%. But uh, man, yeah, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all else. Lost majority every every day of the week, except Friday. Friday was a banger week. I mean, a, a, a banger day. Came with a dub, especially in the 10K. I'm going to show a screenshot in the video showing um, where I was before the, um, before Friday. And I redeemed myself with the right A-plus setup that I've been waiting for um, all week, basically. Um, with US 30, to be exact. Um, took trades on NASDAQ, US 30, all week. That's mainly what I trade. Um, yeah, last week was super choppy, man. I, I couldn't really do much. You know, I took losses at work. When I was at home, um, it's part of the game, though, you know. But uh, the A plus setup was really amazing. I'm gonna show you guys the setup I took that helped me gain and the profit I gained from that setup. Um, my 5k funded account, I'm about three percent, still three percent down, but Friday was still a profitable day for me. Um, on my 10k, I'm up, I got about a hundred something dollars left to pass phase two. And then we on to a uh, funded account on there. Hopefully, this week we'll get that. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're gonna overview everything: the market conditions, the my um, the setups and trades I placed, and all that. Let me put this on the bigger screen. Um, as you can see, man, like throughout the week, starting from, let's say Monday, price action was complete trash. Wicks, wick, 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 all these wicks everywhere. Basically the whole, almost a whole month of January, just wick, wick everywhere. No price action. Price action doesn't know where it wants to go, you know, just everything just sideways, moving sideways, price action moving sideways. Um, I seen price. What day was this? This was on a Thursday. I seen price reject this um support right here. I got stopped out about three times on this buy on US thirty. I think I was at work at the, on this day. I got stopped out twice, or maybe three times. So. I placed a no. This is that's that was my win trade right there. Let's go all the way down to right here. All right. So I placed the trade. What time was it? Ten. All right, around ten a.m. I seen price come above this uh resistance level. <clears throat> Broke above. I bought. Um, price went up for a couple of points, came back down, and I put my stop stop loss underneath this candle. No, underneath this candle right here. Wick me out. I seen price come up again. I bought again. I came up here. It took me out again. And I anticipated this whole buy, man. I was so hurt. I, I anticipated this whole buy. Um, price, I got to follow. When you in trading, man, you got to have a rules, man. You got to have discipline. I learned that the hard way. Everyone does, I'm pretty sure. This um, move right here happened at 2, around 2. I, I didn't take it because I already took three three trades, and I lost all of them. So it's like once you set a rule and discipline for yourself, you got to, like, follow it. Like, it's, it's it's important for real. No matter if, you're, if your price goes the way you want it, like, you got to just follow your rules. So I seen price go all the way up here. I was sick, man. I was sick. Look at that. 100, 200 points, man. It went over 200 points in one day at two. Super choppy. Wake me out multiple times. That was on Thursday. That's when I lost the majority of my account on, on my 10K phase two. And I was down like nine, what, it was like 9,500 something, bro. And it was crazy. 
But let me go over. I won't go over everything else throughout the week. I'm gonna just show you the winning trade I took on Friday. That helped me regain everything. I took this trade at work, so luckily it it, it was successful. Um, I seen price break above this. Uh, I mean, price broke above this on Thursday. Um, on Friday, actually, no. Yeah, Friday. Okay, it's five minutes. Broke above on Friday. Pre uh, New York. New York came all the way back down. Literally rejected off this support level. Um, price came up here. And I waited for this price. I don't I don't trade fair value gap. I be watching videos. I really don't trade fair value, but I kinda like used it in this sense. When you see a uh, price rejected off this order block right here and came up as soon as I see rejection right here, I bought <clears throat> and wrote it all the way up. TP was like right here. TP was all the way up here. Let's see how many push that was. So I wrote it from boom. All the way up here about about 300 points for real for real yeah and i had another bought another buying position up here above this resistance right here um you can see price just flowing beautifully on friday throughout the week it was trash usually i learned if the week is just choppy bro friday is going to be the day where the market just goes where it's supposed to go and that's what it did so price action is beautiful here you rejected this perfectly came up we broke above this resistance, came down, retested, broke above again. Boom. Um, this was a winning trade on both my accounts, my 5K and 10K account. Um, next week, we'll see what happens. We'll see if price comes down, retest this, makes a correction, and then continue up, or price might just fall. We don't know, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> that's basically the Friday's trade that I took, US 30. You can see the choppiness throughout this whole month, man. Just choppy wicks everywhere. Wicks, wicks, wicks. But um, I think since we're almost done with the, the month, price is just going to move how it wants to now. And then, you know, we're going to finish the month off, obviously, bullish. Let's look at the monthly time frame. Let me see. Let's look at the monthly. Yeah, we're going to close bullish for sure. Look at that big wick right here. Big wick, yeah. So we're going to close this month bullish for sure. Um, but yeah, man, that's basically what it, it took patience, bro. You gotta, you just gotta be patient in this game. Everything is, is about patience. If you don't have, if you don't have patience, it's, it's going to be tough. So that's what I got for y'all.